Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. The directives of His Majesty the King are considered a guide for the development of the country and the achievement of welfare for citizens by overcoming all challenges and urgent crises to move towards a better future. The government of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, is guided by the directives of His Majesty the King, which was clearly evident during the successful management of the coronavirus pandemic and the development of an economic recovery plan for the future of Bahrain. The philosophy of Team Bahrain became clear under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister through professionally managing the crisis and mitigating its impact in addition to organizing work among all institutions in the kingdom, which was evident by the tireless efforts to face the pandemic through the successful return to normal life. The Kingdom of Bahrain is moving forward with the determination of its citizens towards the future. The directives of His Majesty the King are the approach the government follows led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Hassan bin Abdullah Khalaf, visited the General Poultry Company to review the expansion project to increase the production capacity of eggs and the kingdom's strategic food stock. The Minister of Works affirmed that the government of Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attaches great importance to the field of food security and achieving self sufficiency as part of the national strategy for food security launched by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Khalaf noted that the the expansion project will contribute in the increase of the kingdom's production from 83 million eggs in 2020 to 120 million eggs, adding that the project is located on a land area of 900, square, me 900 square meters. The, he affirmed that the ministry follows practices that contribute to improving agricultural and livestock production and support the private sector to invest in the agricultural and animal fields. The minister also indicated that the General Company for Poultry is one of the leading national companies in the field of local production, stressing that the ministry's direction in this field aims to raise the domestic production through a number of initiatives aimed at agriculture, fishing, fish farming and livestock. The Ministry of Housing has made a global achievement by implementing the largest number of deep bases uh, microbial made from the construction of the foundations of 16 residential towers in Salman Town. The project will provide 1,382 apartments with an area of 3,600 square meters per floor. The project received a certificate from uh, Bentley, which specializes in the design, construction and operation of infrastructure. The residential tower project in Salman Town was registered among the largest number of deep bases in the world with a number exceeding 12,000 bases to support an area of 70,000 square meters and a depth of more than 15 meters. The engineering team supervising the project used integrated and interconnected geotechnical design and analysis to implement safe, cost-effective and environmentally friendly foundations. The ministry indicated that following this system in the construction of the foundations of the project has positive repercussions on the environment as this type of foundation reduces the greenhouse effect by 75% which is the result of the use of recycled steel through the microbial technology used in the project. The Ministry of Housing was able to achieve this project in record time by completing the foundation work phase and using innovative and modern techniques to ensure that all standards and rules of advanced and modern engineering practices are met. The activities of the Eid Festival organized by the Ministry of Information continue in the Heritage Vigil in Ras Hayyan area in the Southern Governorate. The second day of the festival witnessed a distinguished presence of citizens and residents in addition to a remarkable presence from GCC countries. The festival includes a set of activities and artistic performances presented by folk bands through artistic segments that reflect the ancient and popular heritage of the Kingdom of Bahrain. In addition to entertainment programs for children, the participation of business owners and productive families as well as many accompanying activities. The Aid Festival will continue until the 7th of May, starting from the 5th, 5 p.m. until 12 a.m. The Islamic World Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, the ISESCO, has pledged to make more achievements and gains for the progress and prosperity of the Islamic world on the occasion of its 40th anniversary. ISESCO stated that it is proceeding on the ship approach of the, its fruitful openness, which affirmed the success of its modern vision with its progress and development, noting the many initiatives it has undertaken in various countries of the Islamic world. With an update on its performance structure and institutional building, it is committed to draw 
drawing inspiration from the needs of current times and the evidence of its rapid human transformations. The chairman of the Jidda Season 2022 Committee, His Royal Highness Prince Abdullah bin Bandar bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, announced the details of the season in the second edition, which was launched at the beginning of this month and for a period of 60 days. His Royal Highness Prince Abdullah bin Bandar explained that the Jidda season will include a large number of major events that suit all segments of society and meet their desires and aspirations, reflecting what the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has reached in the entertainment industry. His Royal Highness noted that the second edition will witness a significant increase in the volume of events by expanding the participation of a number of specialized national and international companies to hold concerts, theatrical performances, marine programs and events, international exhibitions and entertainment games. Dubai's Virtual Assets Regulatory Authority, VARA or VARA, announced its entry into the meta phase with the establishment of its metaverse headquarters to be the first regulator to make its debut in the metaverse. The Crown Prince of Dubai and Chairman of the Executive Council, Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, affirmed that Dubai maintains a leading position at the forefront of technological transformation, adding that VARA represents a various or serious effort to build a new new powerful economic sector that contributes to the nation's economy and creates new investment opportunities. This bold move reflects Dubai's government's confidence in virtual assets being integral to the future digital economy and its readiness to establish the Emirates as the world's virtual assets capital.